Uh, my background uh, is a little bit in, in, in firefighting, and what, what I loved, and, and kind of touched on the community aspects as well, uh, that when you, when you walk into fire with someone, um, that builds a bond because you know that, that your life is in their hands and vice versa, their life is in your hands. And it, it is, it's going through that adversity and it's overcoming um, this, this challenge, this challenge that, that seems just like this crazy thing to do, but you achieved it. And then, and then you, you have your, your brother or sister in arms laying right next to you, completely wiped out, completely exhausted, and, and, and you're in the same spot. It, it comes down to, to fortitude, the, the ability to have the, the inner courage, the, the inner spirit uh, to keep going when, when you're up against this task that you're not sure if you can do. But that, that's a great thing about CrossFit because you don't know if you can do it and you don't know if you can do it alone, but the person right next to you feels the same exact way and you just, but then it's, it, it's that competition of who I was yesterday and if I do go all in, who could I be tomorrow? Who, how great can I be if, if I do commit myself, if I go all into something in my life, what could the results be? There are days that I absolutely fail as a parent. That doesn't mean I'm a failure. I failed that day, but just like we talked about, you learn more from a hard workout. I learned more from that day where I failed. All right, why did I fail? And then I can intentionally make that choice to fail again the next day and go down that road of being a failure, or I could right the wrongs and go on a new path. And there's so much power in that. It, it takes more work to choose to do the right thing. But like we talked about, it's front loaded. If you choose to do that work every single day, your life is going to be easier and you're going to be tougher and more resilient for it in the future. If you are not willing to fail, you are going to consistently play it safe and risk nothing. And so maybe you were destined to be this entrepreneur. Maybe you were destined to be whatever it is, right? But you got to a point where you realized failing was more scary to you than achieving greatness. And so you just, you got to like 75% and then you just stay there. I think the worst thing to hear when you're 50 is what great potential you have. At some point, that potential has to transfer to action. And if you're that person that never takes that risk, if you're that person that never takes that risk because they're afraid to fail, you're always gonna be that person with so much potential, but you never meet it. As a human being, I cannot change anyone. The greatest thing that we can do, the greatest power that we have is influence. But here's the deal. If you want to be a better husband, if you want to be a better parent, it's an everyday consistent journey to reach that. The obstacle is the way. And every single day, you're going to be faced with different things in front of you. How you overcome them to continue to take that next step is actually what's going to change your life and change the life of, of your wife and change the life of, of your kids. If you were going to die, would you want it to be like a terminal illness where you had six months or would you want it to be in a freak accident? For me, it was immediate. I'd, I'd want to go in, 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 in a burning crash. And his question was, you know, then how would you say bye and, and how would you like, what legacy? My question to him is, why do you have to wait for your terminally ill to create that? Love to me is the greatest impactor of the world. Create a legacy that you can then give to your children. Create that instruction booklet. So regardless of whether you're around or not, like alive or not, they have a guide and they have a map directly from you that could direct them away from things that you found failure in and lead them to things where you found success. If I, if I had you write down something that you wanted to be better at, whether it's being a better husband, being a better father, being a better coach, being a better friend, being a better son, whatever it is, if you were to write down what it is that you want to be better at in your life, and you don't have to tell me what it is, fold it up, put it in your pocket, 
do CrossFit at CrossFit Morgantown for six months and look at that piece of paper, I guarantee you whatever is written on that piece of paper, you would have achieved. You don't have to think about inventing the wheel in one day. It's little steps and, and there's, a, that, there's that old adage, if you get 1% better every day and you get 1% better every day for a year, in our heads, you know, 1% is nothing, but that incremental improvement over the course of the year, it's something ridiculous, like 35 to the 10th power better because it, that 1% keeps compounding on itself. Nothing that I've done, I've accomplished by myself. I get that, that this interview is with me, but really you're interviewing everyone in my life that has touched my life to create who I am today. Instead of I'm passionate about something, what is my purpose? Because my purpose will drive my passion. How can I use my purpose to impact others in the greatest way? How can I, how can I use the purpose of all that have helped me to get to where I am and all that are around me to impact others as, as best we can. I know that I've been blessed with certain talents and I want to maximize those talents every day to impact others' lives. Um, I want to go to bed completely exhausted every single night knowing that I gave everything I could to in, improve the quality of somebody's life. The Latins have a term, memento more, remember your death. Marcus Aurelius has a quote in regard to that. You could leave life right now. Let that determine what you do, say, and think. And I truly believe that that is the essence of life. We are not guaranteed an hour from now. We're not guaranteed to wake up tomorrow. We're not guaranteed next week. What we do, what we say, and what we think in this very instant determines everything in our life because we're not guaranteed anything else. Years ago, I came up with an idea. This is when I was in high school. Love like you're gonna die tomorrow. And to me, what that meant is show everyone around you, show your best friends, show your family, show everyone, every second you get, how much you care about them because we don't know what tomorrow is gonna be. And I lived my life like that. And I also took risks like that. It wasn't until I was a little bit older that I developed the second part of that mantra. Dream like you're gonna live forever. Because the first part, doesn't give you the idea of the possibilities of tomorrow. The second part does. Dream like you're gonna live forever. So we want you to love the people, cherish the relationships that are in your life now. Let them know. Don't let the sun go down on ill words from a friend that work those things out. Be intentional, be present in their lives, but also have those dreams, have those visions, have those ideas for the future of what could be. Think about those possibilities. It is a huge dichotomy to love like you're gonna die tomorrow, but dream like you're gonna live forever. When those two opposing ideas meet and you could carry both of those at the same time, I believe that is how you live your best life. You're not afraid of death. Death could come at any moment and you're prepared for it. And death can never come or be 100 years down the road and you're prepared for it and you, you've had these dreams and you had these visions that you fulfilled. Guys, it is a tremendous burden is a tremendous heartache to lose anyone that we're close to. I want to flip that on you guys and charge you with that idea. I want you to love everyone in your life like you're the one that's going to die tomorrow. And I want you to dream about your future and the future you have with those people like you're going to live forever. I love you guys. Let the people in your life know that you love them too. Really for myself, my goals uh, every morning that I wake up are, are to encourage and inspire everyone that, that I come in contact with. Um, and this gives me a great avenue to be able to do that.